Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Zoe Bad Blood Collectibles, and yes, you guys, today I will be going over what I picked up for the week. So we're gonna start off and kick things off with first Mafix Cyborg, brand new figure that just came out. This is the Zack Zenders Justice League Edition number 180. Now I know they bought this figure out a couple of years ago or more than a couple of years ago probably four years ago when they bought out cyborg for from Mafix, and that was for the original justice league movie and now the zack zender justice league movie uh came out two years ago and they just now breaking out this figure right here and this thing is freaking awesome i already had i already took it out and i've been fooling around with it having fun with it taking photos with it doing some Work for my Justice League photo uh, booth or photo that, I, but I, that I've been working on. But anyways, this thing is really, really nice addition to add to my 6-inch DC Multiverse collection, you guys. So with that being said, this thing is freaking awesome. Bobfix did a really great job on this figure. I do have to give it to him on this one. It was just really, really awesome. Now, if you're into the DC Multiverse, especially Zach, uh, Zach Zander's... Uh, Justice League movie and the Man of Steel and also uh, the Dark, uh, what was it, the Dawn of Justice, Batman vs Superman, then definitely do not pass on this figure. Pick this figure up. This is a great figure right here. It's, it's freaking awesome, you guys. I fell in love with it. It kills the McFarland DC multiverse figure that I do have. I do have all the McFarland DC multiverse, uh, Zack Zenders, Justice League figures and they do not even compare it to this cyborg right here this thing is freaking awesome so i really do love this figure a whole lot this dude right here is is heavy comes with a ton of accessories you guys a whole lot of accessories and he's just freaking awesome so a reveal is definitely coming soon for him so stay tuned to the channel i might drop it tomorrow i'm still working on the photos right now but this thing is awesome and i love the way that wires work you don't have to worry about them tearing or ripping you can just easily just punch them in there they move and everything's just great on this figure like great articulation on this figure uh i have no gripes and complaints about this figure so this right here is a must-have in your collection you guys so if you're collecting justice league and you have the mezco figures this dude would go great with the mezco collection and just to show you a little something we do have the mezco batman right here the tactical suit batman my favorite batman in my collection so far right now and i was doing some photos with uh with these two already and here he is standing next to uh, Batman right here, and he looks great. Now, I know Batman is, like, super tall, and he's in a suit, so I get it, I understand it. But still, it looks great. I'll show some photos at the end of the video just, just to show you a little bit of what I'm working on with these two. So, this is one of my best pickups that I picked up for the week. Damn, even know this thing was out. Found out that he just came out and it was just released, so I went over here and picked him up. And I only seen one person do a review on him, so I'm definitely going to do a review on him. So stay tuned to the channel with that, you guys. That's it for Cyborg. And on that note, since we're talking about Cyborg, why not talk about my next next figure I got, which is Cyborg from the Return of Superman. Where's the box at? I had the box here, and now I don't know what I did with it. So we're just going to talk about the figure himself. Let me take him off the stand. I do have him on a regular stand, you guys. So a review is definitely coming soon for him. This is another pickup that I picked up for the week. This thing is freaking awesome, you guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love the Cyborg. I mean, the um, not the Cyborg Superman, but the Steel figure from the Return of Superman. It was great. And this one didn't fall short either. This one is even... Uh, it's just as good as the Steel figure. I actually like this figure a lot better than I do the Steel figure. But this thing is freaking awesome. No gripes and complain about this figure. Everything is perfect. Um, Mofix and um, Mezco are like my go-to for the 6-inch, especially for DC. 
uh, lately. I'm starting to shy away from McFarlane DC Multiverse and only picking up their mega figures and some figures, but not all their figures. But this thing right here is freaking awesome. So a review is coming soon, you guys, for this figure. I've been looking for this thing for a long time, and to actually find it at the collectible stores was just really, really nice. He remind me a lot of the Terminator as well, and it just looks really, really cool. Moves great, and uh, I can't wait to do a review on him. So stay tuned to the channel. This is another pickup for me right here. A great pickup. I really do love this figure a lot. So this goes perfect with the Man of Steel from Mezco. Uh, and not only that, you guys, but you can uh, add this dude into your 6-inch collection as well. So this is just dope right here. Reviews coming soon. Stay tuned for uh, Cyborg Superman. And go watch the movie The Reign of Superman on HBO Max or on Max now. And check out that video. And it's going to make you check out that movie. And it's going to make you want to buy this figure right here. So with that being said, definitely if you see it, pick it up. So the next one on the list, you guys, we still got a whole lot to go over. We did pick up Wonder Woman as well from Mezco. This is a six inch line. I am building my uh, movie line for the Zack Zenders, uh, Zack Zenders uh, Justice League, you guys. So I went on here and picked her up as well since I had Cyborg. I was like, you know what? I got a sideboard from Moffix. I already had the tactical suit Batman, so why not pick this one up? This one I got, uh, this one came in the mail a day before I picked up Cyborg. I was wanting to get Cyborg, just waiting. So I finally got him. So I went on here and purchased her as well. Now I do have the classic Wonder Woman for the comic universe, and now I do have my movie universe Wonder Woman as well. And this one, I do have to say, it looks like Gal Gadot. Not 100%, but I'm saying it's probably 90%. Way better than a McFarlane DC Multiverse figure, although their articulation is very limited. It's the only thing that I didn't like about this figure. But overall, this is an awesome pickup for me. She looks beautiful and she looks great standing next to uh, the rest of the Justice League members, you guys. So this was an awesome pickup for me. And a review is coming soon for her as well. So stay tuned to the channel, you guys. Photos. I will show you some photos at the end of the video to see what I'm working on. To show you guys what I'm, what I'm working on. So this was another awesome pickup for me. Now, next on the list, I picked her up the same day she came through the mail, the same day as my other figure, which is Aquaman. Picked up these two uh, on the same day. Geo from Frankenstein sent these things, and I'm just so glad to have them. This dude is very awesome as well. It looked like Jason Momoa is 70%, I'll say. Uh, but this is the best that I've seen any figure bring Je uh Jason Momoa besides Hot Toys. I haven't seen Hot Toys version. But this kills the McFarlane DC Multiverse uh, Aquaman. That one is the worst figure of all time for McFarlane for live action figures. But this thing is really nice. So I was really happy and excited to have both of these figures come at the same time. And now I not only have these two, but I also have the Tactical Suit Batman right here. Which we have right there on the side. And then I also have... Another member for the Justice League, and that is Cyborg right here, which looks really good with these uh, three right here. So I'm going to go ahead and stand these three in the back just to show you uh, what we're working with right now for our Justice League. Now, no Mezco haven't bought out a Cyborg figure yet, at least to my knowledge. So this is the uh, one I'm going to have to stick with now. Now, they are bringing out a three-pack for the... Um, Justice League, we do have the regular suit Batman and also the uh, uh, the black suit Superman, which they haven't done yet. And then also they're coming out with a Flash figure, so I'm very excited to get those three. Might have to spend 400 bucks to get them, which sucks, you guys, but we'll see. I can see if I can work at Dell somehow, in some way, trying to get those figures. But here's all four members of the Justice League right here. We still got a whole lot to collect. We're missing Flash, and we're also missing the Black Suit Superman from Mezco. But these are the figures that I picked up for the week. Now, we still got one more figure, you guys, to go over. And since I don't have my Black Suit Superman from Mezco... Sorry, guys, I'm playing with the camera a little bit. I'm trying to angle it right. Hit it. So, anyways, uh, we do have... Four of them. We have Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, and Batman. So my next pickup, you guys, 
I went on ahead and got this one from uh, Moffix since I can't get it from Mesco no time soon. We do have, yes, you guys, Henry Cavill from Moffix, the black suit Superman. I do have him with the angry eyes on right now with the red beams. And um, he looks great, but I do have some gripes and complaints about this figure, you guys. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, and I will tell you that when I do a reveal on him. And he looks like Henry Cavill. I say 90% like Henry Cavill. Um, way better than McFarlane DC Multiverse as far as the look. I do love the suit better on McFarlane DC Multiverse. But the articulation is great on here. But we'll go over all that uh, when we do the review for him. But overall, this is still a nice addition to have. So when you put this dude on the shelf, he will look nice. Now, the S looks really good as well. But I think McFarlane did it better. But other than that, this is still a really nice piece so far. So I can't wait to get the Mezco Black Suit Superman because I think that one's more beefy and more thicker. This one is more kind of skinny, but he still looks really good as well. So if I can't somehow get all of them, I'm definitely going to get the Flash and I'm definitely going to get Superman first and then Batman. I'm definitely get all three from Mezco. But this one is just going to have to do for now and... I'm telling you guys, having these uh, these five on the shelf, on their own shelf, standing next to each other with some background of the Justice League or Ben Affleck Batman in the background on the wallpaper, it looks freaking awesome. So, so glad to add this dude to the collection right here. He does um, come with a couple of uh, different he exchangeable heads and hands as well. And it's just dope, but reviews coming soon. I was very happy to pick him up. I skipped this dude so many times at the uh, collectible store, but I just finally went on ahead and picked up this dude because I got the Batman tactical suit from Mezco, and I was like, I didn't think I would ever get that figure, so now that I got the figure, I might as well go all the way through with it. And I got all these figures and a span of a week and a half, you guys. So I think I did pretty good with all five of these figures right here. And not just that, but I also got lucky with the Cyborg figure as well. And I think that is it, you guys. I don't think I pick up any more figures. I'm trying to think, did I pick up any more figures? Um, I did, but they, I think they were from Marvel Legends as well. And I think I did a review on him. And I think that was a couple of weeks ago. So this is just my pickup that I had for the week, you guys. All four of these figures right here. We have Cyborg, Superman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman. And we do have the Batman. And then we also have the Cyborg Superman right here from Moffex as well. And I... Uh, I will never collect SH figure arts anymore, you guys. I'm done with SH figure arts. But these figures right here is what I'm going to stay with with the 6 inch line. We're going to go with Mezco. And we're going to go with Mofix, you guys. So stay tuned to the channel. Still got a whole lot coming, you guys. We do have some dope photos that I will be going over as well. Uh, of these figures, just preparing myself for the review of the Justice League figures all together you guys now there will be set up in different parts i probably might do the tactical suit batman one day then black suit superman cyborg and we just go down the list according to how the photos are taken you guys so with that being said this is my week purchase of the justice league you guys so with that i'm definitely gonna show some photos but before we go any further with the photos you guys Please give this channel a like. Give this video a like. Also, you guys, give this channel a subscribe. If you're not a subscriber and you're just not watching this, uh, watching my channel, you guys, or watching the stuff that I create and do, please give this review a like and subscribe to the channel. Help this channel grow. Let's reach 1,000 subscribers, you guys. I was moving really fast, and then all of a sudden, when I got to 740, just... It, everything just stopped at a hole and it's just hard very hard to get views very hard to get likes very hard to get subscribers so please support the channel help this channel grow let's reach 1000 subscribers and with that being said let's go ahead and look at the photos that i've been working with for the tactical suit batman and the justice league themselves here we go okay so here we go with the bat suit 
Um, the tactical suit of Batman. These are the photos that I've been working with right here. Just to show off the figure. Seeing that he could hold his uh, gun on the back of him. The one that he shoots out the, uh, to glide with. Um, and then here it is again. Just showing you uh, how he looks. And showing off the suit itself. But I did want to recreate the warehouse scene as much as I can. So I did that by doing this so let me know what you guys think about these photos as well do you think they are pretty good or do you think they still need work or do you think it's awesome hit me up in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think but I just thought that this figure looks so dope I could just take off the glasses and have this dude fighting and with his glasses on he looked like a totally different suit and with it, and with it off completely off his head it looked like a totally different uh, suit as well, you guys. So I thought that was pretty dope. And this figure is very awesome. And for the articulation, the amount of articulation this figure has, it kills the McFarlane DC Multiverse figure, you guys. And I really do love that. I even got him breaking the leg of the Mandalorian right there. And then this is one of the iconic... Uh, uh, scenes that Batman do in the warehouse scene when he's fighting against both of them with a gun, uh, uh, two other guys in the warehouse. So I, I did want to try to recreate that. The guy did have a knife, but I just gave this dude a sword cut. I couldn't find the knife, but there it is right there. I did want to make sure I, I had this shot in there. I thought that was really cool as well. And then also this one as well. So that, I thought that was pretty dope. And this is the way I always picture Batman to be. That's why I love Ben Affleck Batman so much. It's because this dude is brutal. And we never see another Batman except for the one on Batman vs. Superman. And Batman was freaking awesome. So here's Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot. I tried to make her look good. Some, at certain points, you guys, you can see even in this photo right here that it doesn't look like her right there. But at times it does. And here it is, the new cyborg figure. I love the head scope that it came with. It comes with three head scopes and it's really, really cool. So look at that, you guys. I think that's just really, really awesome. This dude have a bunch of accessories. And he comes with the mother box that we do see by his feet right there. We have Batman and Wonder Woman looking at him. Wonder Woman's uh, telling him uh, she's proud of him for coming to help fight. And Batman just looking like, what in the world's going on? Batman calls for his car. And there they are again. Now Batman has his uh, glasses on top. That was by accident. But you can tell the suit totally changes when he has the uh, goggles on his uh, cowl right there. It just give it a different look for the suit. And I just think it's really dope. I actually love this tactical suit better than I do the regular suit for Ben Affleck. And it's just like freaking amazing. So I did want to do with them going down to a, like a sore where um, they're looking for, um, what's his name, Stephen Wolf. So we got that going on right there. We do have Cyborg again. There's Cyborg's dad, Stephen Wolf right there talking to him. This is my final DC Multiverse. And also Marvel Select for the uh, guy that playing that one show. Really, really great show. But anyways, you guys, Stephen Wolf looked freaking amazing as well. We do have Cyborg using his Dane. My Parademons is something. Is one of the Spawn figures as well that I added on there. And I thought that would be pretty dope right there, you guys. So here he is trying to save his dad right here. I thought that was pretty neat. Pretty nice um, to do. And uh, now we have Wonder Woman versus uh, Stephen Wolf right here. And she's just very hard to pose, you guys, because she doesn't have a lot of articulation. She's not double jointed on the elbows, and neither is she double jointed on the knees. So it's very, very difficult to work with her and take photos with her to make her look great. And not only that, you guys, she, she don't even have a waist swivel as well or a ab crunch, nothing. <clears throat> also, my main uh, figure that I did want to stick with was the Batman because he's going to be the first one I review. There is a gun that Batman comes with as well. It comes with a Parademon gun. And yes, the Parademon that I'm using is a spawn figure. And he has it looking for Batman. Knowing Batman standing behind him. I did darken the screen. So that way you couldn't see Batman. And then Batman sneaks up on him. Attacks him right there. And then we have another Parademon. 
uh, coming after him as well. And then we get Batman in action once again. And I just love the way this figure looks. And uh, the Batman bat suit looks so good with photos, you guys. I mean, it's just freaking awesome. And I just really do love it a whole lot. And Gal Gadot, I do love this figure a whole lot. I ain't gonna lie, but I just wish it could have been, uh, just had been double jointed. I think the double jointed is what is missing. Here are some of the photos that I'm still working with. I didn't edit this one, at least not yet. Yeah, I didn't do none of these yet. These are brand new photos that I just finished. This one I did edit, though. This is the Aquaman. And with him, I do have some gripes and complaints with this figure as well. But I will go over that in the uh, review that I will do for this figure. But here he is right here again. And then this is the last photos right here, you guys. So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about the photos that you just seen, you guys. And do you think this is an awesome pickup that I have for the Wii? With the Cyborg Superman, Cyborg from the Justice League Zender's Cut. The Black Suit Superman from Zender's Cut. And also from Zender Cuts, the Tactical Suit Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman. So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video real quick. I did pick up one more figure, and that is Magneto. Go check out that review that I did for him from Mofix. I've totally forgot about him. Just uh, uh, thought about him right now. So let's go ahead and look at photos real quick of him, and then I will end the video. Alright you guys, so here's the photos that I took of my Mofex Magneto. He is currently on the shelf with the rest of the, my collection for the X-Men figures. So taking them down will probably be a hassle. And I can't find the box that he came with. It's probably in a closet buried somehow, some way when I was looking for some more stuff. So, But this thing is freaking awesome. Probably one of my best X-Men figures that I have in my collection next to uh, the... Uh, Moff, I mean the Mezco Wolverine, the original suit, which you see right here. Magneto has them right there. But this thing is just freaking awesome, you guys. And I love the shadow mask, shadow face that he comes with. I thought that was really dope. You do see that in the X-Men cartoon as well. So I thought that was really, really nice. And this dude looks freaking awesome. And I really do love this figure a whole lot. So if you see this figure, go ahead and pick him up. This is a brand new figure. I think he's 178 or 179. But go check out my review, you guys, of the Magneto figure. Also give that review a like as well. And like I said, subscribe to the channel. Help this channel grow. Hit me up in the comment section below. And let me know if you like these photos right here, you guys. See you all later. Have a great night.